This video demonstrates the proper disassembly and reassembly process to be followed during LR125 maintenance. The specially engineered flow path, metal plug, and supported diaphragm design makes the LR125 highly resistant to damage and allows smooth performance under a wide range of process conditions. Maintenance of your LR125 should be conducted in accordance with your process conditions and maintenance guidelines. During reassembly, make sure to closely inspect the O-rings. They can be damaged by upset conditions or severe service. For disassembly and reassembly, you will need the combination wrenches listed, a flathead screwdriver, and anti-seize lubricant. First, depressurize the system. If you have yet to do so, refer to the LR125 shutdown video for the proper depressurization steps. Unscrew the groove valve and the retainer just enough to loosen them, but do not completely remove. Then push on the retainer to push the groove valve out of the body, and then completely disassemble. For reassembly, begin by inspecting the O-rings. A good O-ring is circular with consistent thickness around the perimeter. A damaged O-ring will have flat spots or cuts on its surface caused by upset conditions or severe service. Replace if damage is noted. Lubricate and install the groove valve. When installing, make sure the indicator line points at the restrictor setting numbers. Lubricate and install the retainer, then tighten the assembly. Your LR125 is now ready for operation. Thank you for choosing Fisher Regulator Technologies. If you have any questions, contact your local Fisher representative or visit us online.